That went much better than expected. <laughs> oh, it's fun to take risks. Why not? What could happen? What's the worst that could happen? I could do a terrible job in front of 200 people. 250. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, what, that one, more, one more new one, and then we'll get back to the old comfortable songs. How's the camera? Everything alright with the camera? Is it in stop motion mode? Are you sure? <laughs> um, um, so, uh, again, I am a famous person, so I have some experiences that I think would interest you as non-famous people. Here is one. Many times I have been on television. Do you have television over here? <laughs> you know what that is? It's a box with light that makes pictures. <sighs> um, there are these shows, I don't know what you call them in the United States, there are these morning, sort of morning news programs that run generally from 6 a.m. until 9 a.m. It's like three hours of puppy news kind of news, not really news, it's mostly just people sitting on a couch drinking coffee, yeah. uh, maybe doing a cooking demonstration with somebody, uh, you know, maybe they have uh, some Cirque du Soleil performers who are in town, or maybe they have a person who's a musician on the internet who's doing a show, you know, in Texas, in Dallas, and, uh, and that musician has to wake up very early in the morning and drive to a very scary part of town because the studios are all in these weird warehouses at the edge of town uh, and there's a very strange set in there and there are a couple of people who are hosting the show and who are reading questions from a piece of paper. They have no idea, they've just been handed this piece of paper. It's not like, it's not like the host has invited me onto the show. They don't know who I am. And so they say, so you, you do monkey songs on the internet. Tell us about that. <laughs> Well, <laughs> where do I begin? Crushing Burden, again, it's all about me and the crushing burdens that I have. Um, <clears throat> but really, I'm thinking about these people, these poor people, really, like, they have to get to work at 4 a.m., which is insane to me. Every day of the week, they go into the office at 4 a.m. when it's still dark, and then they have to be happy on television. And I have been up close to these people, and I can tell you, there is something terrible simmering just behind their eyes. <laughs> so this is about that. It's called Good Morning Tucson. <laughs> And I am still sort of amazed that you can be born in the night. 